Hi, I'm Joyce, the Energy Lady. One of the primary techniques that I use when I work with clients to identify what the issue is we are to work on is I use muscle testing. And I don't know if I've ever talked about it on one of my videos or not, so I thought today I'd share it with you. I had a couple of new clients fly in from out of town and this was a whole new concept to them. Um, my history is, my background is, I was a psychotherapist 42 years ago. Once I learned muscle testing, it is a way to identify issues so quickly that I just gave up behavioral health and I do this because I'm able to pinpoint what the issue is and we're able to work on that. And it just makes things quicker. So um, what I do with muscle testing now, when I have a client who's in person, I have them sit in a recliner chair and lean back and then I actually push on their arm. I have them hold up their arm like this. I have my hand on their wrist and I push on their arm. Your body remains strong to truth and it goes weak to not truth. And it's kind of funny sometimes because there's things that you think are true that you will answer yes to and the arm goes weak and it's always a surprise. In fact, my new clients looked at me like, whose arm is this? Why is it saying that? And um, so all you do is answer yes and no questions. So now when I work on Zoom with clients, this is my form of muscle testing. There's a lot of different finger form of muscle testings. There's this, there's this, there's this. Now I'm probably going too fast, right? <laughs> there's this, this is a form of muscle testing, strong, weak. This is a form of muscle testing, strong, weak. This is a form of muscle testing like this. This, this is strong, this is weak. The one primary one I use on Zoom is this. Finger, middle finger flat to thumb. This is strong, this is weak. So I answer yes, no questions. This is strong, this is truth, this is weak, okay? So whether you answer yes or no, the truth is strong. It goes weak when it's not truth. Well, we don't use this to predict things. I don't use this to help you decide whether or not to marry somebody. I don't, I don't do this to help people make decisions. I do this to help identify what is the health issue we need to work on. What part of the body needs addressed? What, um, what issues from your past are showing up for you that need addressed now? These are some of the things that um, we're able to identify by asking yes and no questions. And once we get to that, I call it the GPS point, that pinpoint of what that issue is today. Now you could come in and you would have a whole list of things. I wanna address this, 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 and this today. And then we just muscle test it and we'll say, okay, is this a word to address? And a lot of times it's no, because there's something else underneath. It's a deeper layer. We can't identify our um, issues, our blind spots alone. It's just really hard to do that. But this is the way to find and address the blind spots is by using muscle testing. Now you can use these, I use this all the time to decide which shirt to wear in the morning. Do I wanna wear the pink one or the purple one? Do I want to eat a salad or do I want a sandwich? You know, it's just, I'll muscle test simple things on myself, but I can't really get my blind spots. And that's where muscle testing falls in. Really handy when you're trying to identify what are the issues to work on? What do I need to address? And so many times things trigger us, but we don't even know what it was that triggers us. And so we can ask muscle testing questions that I kind of help people backtrack and go, okay, so this is happening now. So what came up? before this happened that may have triggered this. So that's one of my main techniques of working with people. And then of course, then once I identify it, I have some releasings I use, and then I clean the energy field, which one of my clients said today, she goes, oh my gosh, I just feel so much lighter, so much lighter. And that's oftentimes the comment because once you clean off the junk on your energy field, you do feel lighter. It's like you've been driving around with muddy windshields and all of a sudden we just clean the windshield. And oh my gosh, everything sees better and clearer. So 
those are some of the techniques I use when working with clients. So if you're interested, give me a call. Let's have a consultation, see what I can do to help. See ya.